What's going on, you guys? So I wanted to do a video about this because this is pretty sick. All right, so back in 2009, uh, Matrix Games published a game called Gaius Grigsby's Eagle Day to Bombing the Reich. And this is a really uh, in-depth game if, you're like, uh, if you like the games uh, from Gary Grigsby, which is I'm, I'm a big fan of. You know, you have like war in the West, war in the East, right? So there's a, a strategic level campaign of, you know, the uh, air war that happened over Europe in uh, World War II. Eighth Air Force, you know, the British nighttime bombing, all that, and being able to choose locations and such. Um, this game, you know, is one that's been on my radar. You know, I've been thinking about getting it for quite a while. Uh, because it allows you, especially after watching that latest, uh, I don't know if you guys watched the Apple TV Plus series, uh, Masters of the Air. So ever since I've seen that, I've been wanting to get, you know, like, scratch that itch, you know. So, this is a game that would do that. Now, what is amazing about this is the fact that, one, uh, let me refresh the page, it's 81% off now, <laughs> so it was $49.99 that you just saw, $49.99 just a minute ago, now it's $10, uh, but that's not the crazy thing, the crazy thing is this, uh, and this is why I love Matrix and Slytherin, they just updated a game that is over 15 years old, uh, they added... A, they added an update to a game that's over 15 years old and to me that is like amazing because yeah you know this game is 15 years old you know they made their money off the game and they're still updating it and they're still supporting it let's see what they added so fixed a few uh situations where shuttle missions were still not working as intended escorts will not follow stra uh, sh shuttle bombers if they have enough fuel otherwise they go back to home base fix an issue where the ability for a night rate to stay on course was not considered experience and fatigue which is causing more night raids to plow up the fields instead of hitting their targets soften the inf uh inferral click sound <laughs> when selecting radio buttons aircraft will now uh, always attempt to climb above balloons to minimize accidental strikes against balloon cables more flexes to auto plan raids functionality more minor tweaks to attacker ai oh, okay interesting uh fix a bug where the ai was selecting non-existent targets for a secondary target defender groups now display time uh time to ready still six so <clears throat> if i cough or whatever i'm not 100 percent still when selected at airbase. The delay time is now displayed dynamically when adding escorts to raids. Uh, reconfigure some unnecessary routines to speed up play a little bit. Uh, defender units group display now takes off uh, for group. Weapons display will show more information about night fighter radar and jamming systems. Night fighters won't lose their system uh, upgrades when swapping cannons. And replacements enter the game with current technology. Okay. So they, you know, like just first look, it didn't look like a big list, but it is a big list and it does seem like a lot of work. So uh, that's pretty sick that Matrix Games did that. I really, really like, like this is a big thing, honestly, in, in my book. You know, for them to update this game that's over 15 years old, uh, I doubt it was seeing a lot of sales. You know, it probably had sales, but not like year one or year two or year three, you know? Uh, now, because they updated the game, I, I'm planning to purchase this, actually, honestly. I, I've been wanting to scratch that itch. And more in the West, the error system in there was kind of satisfying that. But I think I'm going to give this a try. Uh, because this is only air. I don't have to worry about the uh, land component or naval component. And ever since watching Masters of the Air, I've been kind of wanting to, like I said, scratch that itch. Uh, but I just want to make this video, guys, because I just want to give props to Matrix Games for doing this, uh, for going out, updating this game, and then taking 81% off the price. Thank you. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. Catch you next one. See you then.